Okay, now we're at the Fire Clan. And our mission here is to hunt down Zardes' tower. Personally, believe it's here. Simply because it's a huge eroded area with no obvious locations. To we came, I think, through here somewhere initially the monastery, and I didn't notice the towers. So somewhere here, either here or here. Hopefully, we can get a more exact location by talking to fire clan members. I'm sort of interested in knowing why the clans are here in the first place. I mean, what sort of uh, things they we would do for them. In the middle land is the rebels versus orcs. What is it here? Clans versus orcs? Enos, be with you. You believe in Enos? Of course I do. Eno showed us the real meaning of strength. How? The first king of the plains was one of us. Enos gave him strength and power, enough to conquer the plains all by himself. Nothing is stronger than Enos, and that is why we follow him. Got it? No, I didn't get it. What's the problem? Actually, I ought to be out there hunting orcs. So? Can't you see what I'm wearing? It's not exactly suitable for hunting orcs. Metal would be more appropriate. That's exactly how I see it. Where can I get armor around here? In my size? It has to be made special. Stejnar of the Hammer Clan makes good armor. Talk to him. What's in it for me if I get you some armor? The most valuable thing I own is my axe. Sounds good. Forget it. I will be your follower. It's all I can offer you. What do you mean by follower? I'll follow you wherever you go in Nordmar. I will protect your life with mine. As long as we're in Nordmar. Exactly. Ten shadow beasts couldn't drag me to the lowlands. I'll get you some armor. Good. In these clothes, I was starting to doubt my masculinity. At least, uh, I haven't seen a female warrior in a long time. Okay, Nords, everyone knows Ace of Warrior. Orc Slayer. The Plains, uh, only males seem to be warriors. Greetings in Enos. Would you like to go hunting with me? Later. I knew it. You're probably just here to crack some orc skulls like everybody else. Oh well, I'm surrounded by ignoramuses. If you change your mind, let me know. Are there any problems with the orcs? Is it cold in Nordmar? Those bastards are making themselves at home throughout the country. They raid our tombs, ambush our merchants, and scare away our game. The only good orc is a dead orc. Are you doing anything to deal with the orcs? The Orc Slayers are on their way, and they snuff out any Orc that crosses their path. Sounds a bit disorganized. So it is, but very effective. If you want to hear more details, go talk to Kurth. He's got a plan, or so I've heard. Who is Kurth? He's our leader. His house is the big one at the very top of the village. Okay, it looks like the same crap, uh, except here 
humans are still in charge. I wonder what the game choices the game gives us. I mean for the end game. And clearly we can see three options. Kill all humans, the lower orcs, or have some kind of a compromise where both uh, survive. So Inas, Beliard and Adenas. I wonder if there are other options. Or is there going to be some kind of twist that... Uh, I, I, I think there are options because we are the decider. If we're, if the cho game takes the choice away from us, it's not much of a role playing game at that point. Lee. What? You're here? There doesn't seem to be any place where you don't show up eventually. I'm happy to see you, too. Take it easy. I just didn't expect to see you here at the end of the world. What's up? I was planning to pay a visit to Robar. But the coward is hiding behind a barrier. You know I've got a bone to pick with him. That thing about the slammer? Exactly. I'll make him regret that. Nobody locks me up in jail and gets away with it. Not even the king. Not one day passed in Karinas where I didn't fantasize about meeting Robar face to face. That might be an unhealthy obsession you have, Lee. What are your plans? We must get into the King's Palace somehow. We? I need your help. Have you forgotten who sent you to the colony? The time has come to deliver justice. The King is strong, but we could deal with him together. What will you do once the King is dead? I'll worry about that later. The war is lost anyway. Nobody knows what will happen next. How can I help you? We need to get into the King's Palace. There are some teleporter stones that will take you there. We need two of them. One for you, and one for me. Long ago, they would keep such a stone in every castle of the Paladins for emergencies. Bring them here. That would mean Faring and Gotha. Both uh, under undead control, fairing under or control. Not something we can do anytime soon. Uh, no luxuries here, no treasures or anything. And the wind stops howling from time to time. That's terrible. Sounds very annoying. Do you need any weapons? I've got weapons. First rate axes. There's no better merchandise in all of Nordmar. Ingvar of the Hammer Clan may be a little bit better. Tell me about this area. Hmm, not much here. Ice and snow. Oh yes, and there is a monastery up in the mountains. But I haven't heard from them in quite a while now. If you want to know more, go talk to Fritjof. He's at the monastery now and again. How do I get to the monastery? Down by the village, there's a path leading to the mountains. Just follow it. Show me your goods. Blue blueprint for broadsword. 600. Or 216,000. 20, 20,000. Okay, I'm thinking of buying the broadsword blueprints. Because I, I remember it being extremely expensive with a sword. Uh, 750 only. The 
but I think that's also true if we try to sell it. What would we require to... Uh, I probably need to... 120,000 heavy in armor. 64,035 for a light armor. Uh, 3,000 for heavy. Uh, I need to save and test things. I'm, I mean... What would be required to actually produce? Show me your... I think we have some kind of a sword, but... I mean blueprint. But it produces something that's not really all that interesting. I mean, it would just require knowledge of smithing. Wool skins would be the limiting factor. Wool skin, raw steel, and booze. Actually, it's fairly cheap to do. I mean, the ingredients are maybe one tenth of the value of the sword. Can I see what would smithing require? Um. Do we have it? Are, we, are you kidding me? Yeah, we can do five of those. We, we would need skinning to be able to take advantage of this. How much are boy five broad swords worth? Show me your goods. Required strength 110, blade damage 70, plus 10 for self 4, probably included in the damage. Gold value 225 for a single one, so just three of these will pay back the actual recipe. Okay, let's basically paid itself off. And now we have ability to turn things into something more valuable. But yeah. In order to really make these work and kind of crafting, you would really need to be able to take any more skill skins. I'm not going to take these. Weapons, forge weapons from pure ore. Yeah, we're not gonna get those. Might want to buy horn weapons at some points or improved armor. But it requires quite a lot of uh, smithing skills, so I don't think so. I do want to expand my skill set a little bit at some point. Not now. Once we get to those spells that cost about around 200 knowledge, or maybe mana regeneration at 250, uh, that's when we can sort of really start to sp spread our knowledge base. I mean, I don't think there's much point at that at that stage to keep buffing everything. Naturally, we'll become more powerful as a mage, but. Uh, what I'm saying is, it might be more interesting as far as the game is concerned if you spread out. Uh, sort of a, I see this uh, development system more in the line of what you'd have in an Elder Scrolls game, like a Skyrim. You can focus very heavily on a single thing, and you should, so you know how to handle your fights. But that's not. It's a very open world, you can do anything, uh, crafting, things like that, and you should. It's just that the actual development of abilities is based on uh, leveling up instead of uh, mindlessly repeating uh, pointless actions. So, 
pointless repetition. We have about 50 more ancient knowledge points and we start to be there. Um, yeah, deal almost double damage. We're gonna take Fire Mage. At that point we might have to buy Fireball too. I'm a little bit concerned how effective that is. But we might buy all of them if we can. Why wouldn't you? It's something like 15 points probably. A lot of cash and 15 FP. You come from Mertana. More or less. Then you have already been through what still awaits us. I am looking for Zardas, the Black Mage. He's teamed up with the Orcs. You know where he is? No. And if I did, I would kill him. He has betrayed Enos. Pilgrim? Why should I be a pilgrim? Well, the Enos Monastery in the mountains used to attract many pilgrims from the Midlands, but since the war, hardly anyone goes there anymore. Have any pilgrims come by here lately? Pilgrims? No. But a young fire mage passed through not long ago. However, he headed straight for the monastery. He seemed to be in a hurry. Do you know his name? My lord? No. Milton. That's what he was called. What awaits you? The fight for survival of the clans. Orcs roam our lands with impunity, and we hide in our villages. But we're going to put an end to this. The Fire Clan will obtain the power of our ancestors and chase the orcs from the country. Tell me about the Fire Clan. We are the best warriors in all of Nordmar. We fight the orcs for Enos. Why for Enos? He showed our clan what it means to be strong. His fire warms our huts and heats our forges. It is only fair that we should pay him back in orc blood. How can I get to the mon- Just follow the- What is the power of the ancestors? In Nordmar, we've always had great warriors, skillful hunters, and the best blacksmiths in the world. Most of them have been forgotten. But, the very greatest among them were buried in cave tombs. Their skills were to serve the clans beyond their deaths. How can that be? Every one of these heroes crafted an ancestor stone before he died. The stone of ancient magic. The art of making them has been lost, along with the knowledge of their origin. The ancestor stones grant the skills of their creators to whoever takes them to their designated location. Okay, that sounds good. Another form of magic. What are you planning to do? I sent my six best warriors to the cave tombs. There they will learn everything we need for our fight. No, I'm very worried. They should have been back a long time ago. There can only be one reason for this. They are dead. Why did you wait until now to send out your warriors? The ancestors' stones lay in our chests for ages, long enough for us to forget about their significance. But I had a dream. I saw the ancestors rise from their graves, full of wrath because of the orcs. They wanted to fight against the orcs. Then I knew what I had to do. The ancestors have awakened? Yes. You need to be careful. In their fury, they cannot tell whose friend or foe. You will have to fight them in order to bring the Ancestor Stones where they belong. But do not hesitate. They are dead already. Give them the peace they deserve. Is there any way I can help? Hmm. It might be better if we send only one warrior. A really strong warrior. Are you good enough? Good enough for what? To go get the power of the Ancestor Stones. I will go get the power of the Ancestor Stones. I hope that your abilities match your courage. You might have to fight the spirits of the Ancestors. They are furious. 
But you mustn't make allowances for that. Everything is at stake. History will prove us right. How can I find the Ancestor Stones? I have a map that shows all of the cave tombs. Go there. I am sure you will find traces of my warriors. Sounds good. Watch out. The dead are powerful in Nordmar. Is there a way to protect oneself? No. One must try to appease the dead. The Orc Slayers can tell you more about that. What if your warriors are still alive? Doesn't matter. We will send only one. You. One axe is better than six knives. Let them give you their ancestor stones. Okay. Don't cause any trouble here. I'm, I'm sure you have something else to do. So leave me alone. Ancestor tombs. One, two, three, four, five. What is that? Yeah, wrong map. There's something there. All the answers to one the center area. Could that be the tower. Be there. Uh, I'm assuming it's not in uh, with any of the plans because they here treat him as a traitor, so I'm even more convinced that he's somewhere here than, and that would be in the correct area. Six tombs. Sure, I'm gonna go after ancestor tombs now. Uh, I'm s I'm very much interested in what they could have, but at the same time, strong undead <sighs> seems like uh, it could be a lot of trouble. And frankly, we're not that great against it, uh, undead. We have basically one attack spell at the moment, so. Ooh, we could get another one though. We have the coins for that too. It's not a great one, but we're not much of a mage if we don't try to get better at this. It's the fire. Fire wave, flame wave. Could also learn banish evil. That work against undead. It's hard to see. Servants of Beliar, sure, but what is classified as a servant of Beliar? Is it orcs? Is it Zardas? Is it some kind of undead creature? Is it sort of demonic creatures? There's always the confusion what exactly goes into each category. I wish they would make it plain. Finish Eve, no, Flame Wave, that's what we want. Uh, maybe the Fireball too. No, but I'll take Flame Wave now. 
it does something different. We don't have that many extra points to spare. Enos. Grant me mastery over fire. Okay, how much does it cost to cast? 75, so we can cast it like 3 4 times. Right. Yeah. Wasn't that useful when we used it from the scroll at the start of the game, but at that point we had maybe one third of the ancient knowledge we have now, so things might be very different. It's an aura. So... Not sure how uh, great it's gonna be, because we, we would need to find a place where we're sort of protected from it. Anyway, at least we have something. Something new. Fire. Well, um... Probably just going to go into the beast form and try to go in our suspected area of Sardis' tower. This is a good form to take simply because a lot of creatures don't seem to you treat this as a prey animal. Doesn't mean everyone is going to ignore us. Orcs will attack us. And not don't get sidetracked now. We can get sidetracked once we have uh output sardas. If we continually go east, we can't really go wrong. Some kind of orc encampment. We want to go near those. That uh, shit. Mm. 
That would be one of the... yeah. Sort of looks like a cave. Another shadow beast. Might be able to jump over that. Holy crap. Yeah, we still have the stats of our human character. So we are not a shadow beast, we basically just look like one. Which is odd, because what's the point of the transformation then really? What's the difference between choosing... Well, shadow beast isn't attacked by the hunter because it's a more impressive creature, but that's it. So. If you want to be a shapeshifter fighter, you still have to raise your human physical attributes to be at all useful. Uh, that seems sort of shit, but it's what it is. Loading, loading, loading. I am, I am I'm increasingly less and less impressed with the great way of uh, spellcasting. Everything they do sort of seems like a crappier version of Binaz or Beliar. Just pointing that out. Oh yeah, I forgot these are hostile towards humans too. and then east is probably the best way to reach where we need to reach unless we can fly. So this uh, road map is more of a canyon map through the mountains. Thank you. 
Yeah, this place has a war, work type creatures, trolls, and all kinds of uh, huge armies as your typical encounter. Golems included. Definitely not a place for us. There's really no good way to get through these. The eyes go on this moving cable of kingdom. Goblin Shannon. It's impossible here to really see if there would be towers where though. Might want to consider stopping if we get the chance. Okay, are you treating me as hostile? Probably not, because they're a monster too. Excellent. It's like uh, another orc fortification site. Good choices here. I will smash you to pieces. I'll kill you. Kill you to death. Stop where you are, Mora. Yeah, why well, how about now? Okay, a mysterious cave. Minecrawler Warrior Crap Lodar I'm stuck Stop where you are, Mora yeah. Give me a moment now Seems whatever is the red thing is, it's on top of this, so if we want to see it, we have to go up.
Any more orcs? Doesn't really seem like orcs are in control of this area either. There's certainly a guard in here, but uh, it's more like a blockade type of thing. Gigantic paws. Ooh, yeah, there's a gigantic tower. Golem? Yeah. So golems, 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 golems. That's what we have here. Typical of a uh, Zardas' tower. Demons would be another thing. Um not sure how the hell did I deal with those. Definitely his. If it's not this, I don't know where the hell it would be. Find Sardis. Undead servants. Open lock scroll. Time bubble. That's a gold to get telekinesis, summon golem. Summon animals. But when Beliar saw what the servants of Enos were doing, he screamed with rage, and a being of ancient power heeded his call, and arose from the earth, and some other great beings arose as well. Yeah, let's not resort to thievery just yet. We're lucky we can get a teleporter stone here. Yeah, it's just an old man in the tower. Just like before, with teleporter stone. What does it look like? X. Artist tower. So, tell me, old man, what the hell is going on here? Here you are at last, Zardis. While I spent all these weeks on the road, you have been meddling in a war. So, why don't you tell me what's going on? Fine. I have been working on a plan for a long time, since we were imprisoned behind the barrier, since the moment that Beliar spoke to me. What a triumph it would have been for him to know that I took his side. Once the highest of all the fire mages, now a servant of the Dark God, I feigned acceptance of his offer. But I used the knowledge which he granted me against him. I have prepared everything for you, but that is a long story. Once I have told you everything, you will understand why it was difficult for me to reach a decision without you. What are you talking about? Tell me more. The War of the Gods has been raging for ages, but soon it will be over. Enos is greatly weakened, and Beliar is mightier than ever before, but everything hangs in the balance. You speak of the decision between Enos and Beliar. As I see it, those are our only options at the moment. But perhaps there is still a third option. Another way. But for that, you must bring me the artifacts of Adenos. What is special about the artifacts? There are five. Five divine artifacts. They were in the possession of the Ancient Ones. 
The people perished. But I am sure that the five artifacts still exist. Each of them alone grants great power. But all of them together. Yes? We will talk about that once you have found them. Where should I look for the artifacts? The orcs are already looking for the artifacts. I have formed an alliance with them. Everything they find will be brought to Geldern and stored there. The shamans there are studying every kind of magic. They developed a plan long ago. Talk to them and find out all the information they have collected. Here it says something about alchemy. Um, I, I find the alchemy a little bit weird because I, I don't think I've spent maybe I have spent a few points but basically you get all the alchemy you will ever need by just reading the books so it's a uh, it's a gigantic waste of your effort to take alchemy points and I feel that sort of un too heavily undermines the skill I can't really criticize the ancient knowledge in quite the same way. I suppose I should, because uh, the the requirements are quite heavy. It would basically be like shoveling twenty levels of all your points just into ancient knowledge to get access to the really good spells, maybe even more. So, a little help there is certainly appreciated, but at the same time, I, I don't see the same thing happening with, uh, for example, fighting skills. And the requirements there, at least with the feet, seem to be fairly similar. However, strength directly increases your damage, and I haven't seen anything that requires a lot of these abilities. So it's not quite the same. Mage skill also affects the damage, but uh, I don't think it directly affects the in a way that every point put in there uh, increases damage by a point. That's not how it works. It's just a factor in damage formula somehow. No regeneration. Regeneration. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, how pissed will the guy be if I start stealing everything here? Um, I, I'm not sure why, why, why I would, though. My staff you have there. We can talk later. Take care of yourself. More interested in the scrolls. Sure, the golem summoning. special okay this didn't really give us anything we didn't already know but now we sort of have a we're part of a larger plan now it makes sense. Now we know what's behind it. Now we have a better understanding how the different actors uh, are in relation to the actual plan. Time bubble.
keep sweeping. I think you are allowed to take peace. We can talk later. Yeah, I, I doubt you could screw over something mission mission critical quite so easily. Thirteen thousand gold. But yeah, now I sort of feel like we've played this uh, quite a long time al already. But I feel this point should have been able been able to be reachable a lot sooner because now you have a proper understanding of things and it's a fairly tough place to reach unless you do what I did so you could have a long time in this game where you're, you're going after things without knowing what you are really doing Uh, should I go after Ancestor Tombs? The thing is, we are very hard pressed to do things here. We, we just lack the power or capacity as far as mana is concerned to deal with this type of heavy fighting. Let alone any armor protection. So. I still don't understand why the flame wave is so valuable. I mean, the problem with the aura spells is that you would have to let the enemy come relatively close. At that point, they're more than capable of interrupting. So either the casting time has to be basically instantaneous, or what is it use useful for? I don't know. Yeah. Artifacts. Hmm. Main plot missions. Fire chalices. Artifacts of Adenas. So that's probably if we decide to side with Inox. It could uh, allow for other things. Uh, I, got, I, I, I basically assume there's going to be some kind of a... Uh, things will develop uh, without too much fuss sometimes and then there's going to be a choice. You have to do some kind of a final act that makes a choice. Artifact of Trellis. You see to it that Vax sticks to his part of the agreement, and I will help you. I think that is only fair. So, basically... We need to get access to the inner sections of the trellis. That's the first artifact we should be able to gain access to. And I think that's exactly where we'll go. Or will we? Yeah, yeah, for now at least. We've done a quite a few missions there already, so it's nothing, nothing new for us. And there's quite a few missions we can start immediately on. I think there's some like an ogre group right up the side of the city that you take care of. Things like that. So I guess 
and I'll just have to work for them. I'm gonna find a place to sleep in. Uh. <sighs> well, in many ways that didn't change anything, but in a lot of ways we have a lot more focus now. Now, now we know what's important. And the important thing is Trellis. Trellis and the Divine Artifact of that city. Destroy the orcs around, in and around the Temple of Trellis? No. Find out what is wrong with the Western Farm. Find the runaway alchemist Avogadro. Kamax Artifact. Kill the sneaking ogres in the woods. Yeah. Let's start with that. No deliveries arriving from the Easter temples. We can actually do that right now. Ransack farms. Tell about rebel situation. Orc warrior prank needs healing potions. Okay, but in Conrad wants magic back. We're gonna go after the ogres. That's uh, because that's the job for the head gatekeeper here, commander of the orcs. The excavations of the Eastern Temple are on track again. It's about time. Not much longer, and I would have gotten in trouble from above. Here is your pay, bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need 35 additional reputation points with the city in order to gain access to the inner areas where the item is. So, let's get started.